Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working with a Lenovo T460S. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your RAM. So before we get going, remember I do try to answer all comments and questions at least twice a day. But if you want to save time waiting for an answer, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to keep those updated. Also, I have a related link section below in the description, may be able to help you out with some other things involving your computer use. So to start the project, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over and access our bottom case screws. Okay, so I have these three screws up top, these two screws here, and that's your keyboard screw. That's a switch that releases your keyboard if that's all you're after. So I'm gonna go across and take all these screws out. Okay, so all my screws are unscrewed. However, they do have washers inside of them that hold them in place, so you're not gonna get them completely out. And I've set my keyboard screw to open. And now the bottom case is, is released. So I'm gonna take my small flat head pry tool, go across the seam, and pop this bottom case off. Now this has been taken off once before, so you may have a harder time than that but it does come off fairly easily. There's, no, uh, there's nothing attached to the bottom case, it's, it's just the panel. After removing your bottom case, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on this anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you guys need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any of these replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, and I will have a list of all the tools and supplies, again, as well as the replacement and upgrade parts for this model in that one list. Now before doing anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug the battery. It makes it safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through the computer. In this computer, we have two batteries. The main computer battery screws in there and there, plugs into the motherboard right here underneath this tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out those screws. And then it's held down underneath these two clips right there. So I'm gonna pop this up out of that port and then slide it out from under those two clips and there's your battery. This battery is very similar. It's held in by these two clips there, these two screws here, and it plugs into the motherboard there, similar to that one. So I'll go ahead and I'll take these screws out and then I'll lift it up from this plug and slide it out from those clips. To access your RAM, your RAM is right here. And the way that RAM works, there's two spring-loaded metal arms on either side. The way to release your RAM is to gently pry those apart from each other, away from the RAM stick, and the RAM stick will release. Oftentimes, it'll even pop up a little like that, and then you can just grab it and slide it out. To get the RAM back in, you'll notice there's a long side to the RAM port and a short side. So you can't plug that in upside down. You can only get it in one way, the correct way. So you put it in there, you make sure it's flush and even, make sure that gold strip is nice and even, and then you just press down and it secures in place with those metal arms. I will have the RAM specs below in the description. I'll also have some RAM upgrade options um, in the description as well in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts. So that's the procedure. Uh, please remember to like and share if it was helpful, if you think it could be helpful for someone else. Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content or if you just want me on hand to answer your computer related questions. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.